Okay, so this is my hotel room and let's see. So there is a living space at the visiting faculty quarters at India School of Business. And then what do we have? Separate office space. That's very good. I think that's the view outside. And this is the Indian School of Business campus. That's the main building, I think. Okay, and this all looks very good. And they have some snacks. Oh God, very interesting. Some juice and stuff, very good. Do they have ice cream or something? No. This is the bedroom. Let us check. I would expect the view to be same. So this is pretty uh, nice area. This is a very nice bedroom and very nice room in ISB Hotel. It's almost as good as any other hotel, Australian hotel, right? So I'm about to start my day at, and I'll be meeting a lot of faculty members and students. Uh, some of them have actually, I've been told that have been watching my videos. Okay, so uh, it will be interesting to see what kind of questions they ask me. And 5.30 in the evening, uh, I'll be presenting my research paper. Is this your cafeteria? Yes. Okay. The ground floor is where the atrium is and you have all your common uh, services, common all services bank, post office, post office food, food, everything, okay. On the first floor is, are all the offices faculty offices and staff, and staff offices. offices. And the auditorium. Auditorium also, is it? Okay. And the second floor is where all the classrooms are. So the floor, above floor, that is all classrooms. Yes. So all the classrooms are the floor above. In the middle is the library. Mm -hmm. Where is the library? This that above the atrium. Above the, that is all library area. Yeah, so, the, so the lowest floor on that has been rebuilt. Mm -hmm. That's ISP Studios, mm -hmm. where we've got um, state-of-the-art streaming and podcasting and video editing facilities. So we've got theaters down there, we've got studios down there. And the second, third floor in that building in the middle is where the library is. The top floor is IT. But the topmost floor is IT services. Okay. So we are going to my temporary office here, Academic Center 8. No, this is AC6. So, you know, just for a day, I have an ISP office. And this looks like a nice office. Hi, hey, it's open. Come in. Hi, Professor. Hi. Do you see? What's your name? Uh, my name is Sachin. Sachin. Uh, so I'm a research associate uh, at Indian School of Business. I work with Professor Deepa Mani. Okay, okay. You are trying to apply for doctoral admissions in the US, is it? Correct, correct. Okay, what programs are you applying for? Uh, P uh, PhD in Information Systems. And where have you applied so far? Uh, so far I've applied to three schools, mm -hmm. uh, Stanford, Berkeley and other top information system programs. At ISB when you are working as a research associate, you're not only working on uh, like you know ongoing projects, you're also encouraged to take doctor level courses, uh, MBA level courses. Y you can sit for one or two courses every term. Uh, how were, what courses were they? How? Uh, so they were on uh, probability and statistics, uh, econometrics, A, B, C. Uh, so like goes like different levels of econometrics. Uh, how were the courses like? What were the courses like? Oh, uh, it, it was very rigorous. Like my first course on probability and statistics, I scored a it was rigorous and difficult. Uh, yes, it, it takes so much effort uh, because it's, <laughs> it's not like, you know, the average engineering courses that I did. Where My doctor advisor told me that if it is easy, anybody would do it. Okay. Correct. It, <laughs> it is difficult, but the point is that it is difficult for everybody. Nobody Correct. was born with that knowledge. So, so what are the benefits of being at ISB? Uh, like you get free Uber rides. Free Uber rides? 
yeah <laughs> go where to go to travel any place within the city within the city uh, and then uh, you get a very good research type in okay so work wise mm -hmm. uh, and quality of living wise you have a very good restaurant uh, it's almost oh i see that people are eating there what is going on there uh, over there i think uh, so there are these folks who take up advanced management programs mm -hmm. uh, so they come on campus and they have a, they arrange something called as a gala meeting so for them they arrange food for people to network with each other okay uh, so pe uh, people from various backgrounds come here take part in the program network over there mm -hmm. and then they find opportunities with each other and other companies that's cool so we are going for lunch right now right correct and what is this area what is this uh, place it's center for executive education mm -hmm. uh, this is where i work okay this is your office uh, yeah okay and oh, thank you Oh, uh, no, my buttermilk is good enough. So, what food is this? So, this is pulao, corn palak pulao. paneer, corn pulao, palak paneer, chole, and some salad. Good. What food do you have? This is chicken chutney nad and pulao, cheese pulao uh, and chole. I think you, instead of palak paneer, you have chicken something, yes. right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, and then we have rotis. So, this looks uh, very appetizing. <laughs> This should be good. So I'm Snehil. Snehil. So, yeah. And what do you do at ISB? So I work as an RA in, in, in the information systems area. Mm -hmm. And mostly my work is across the data science and information systems thing. Okay. So uh, I've been watching uh, Professor Chaitanya's video uh, before I joined ISB. And uh, the videos are really, I mean, uh, inspiring. That is oh, one aspect. But that, uh, apart from that, that also gives you the real idea of how is the PhD scenario in the United States. So, did you decide to go for PhD? Yeah, yeah. I am pretty sure I will go for because academia was the thing I always wanted to be. I was, uh, I was, I had worked on a startup that didn't work, but uh, academia has always been the thing that I always wanted to be for my. I mean, but yeah. even creating a startup takes a lot of courage. Yeah, so yeah, kudos to you for doing that, <laughs> <laughs> roaming around on campus. There are actually a lot of uh, animals. Like you have cats, dogs. Uh, I've lot of heard birds. that lot of uh, hedgehogs, peacocks. Yeah, hedgehogs yes, and peacocks hedgehogs, are there peacocks. on the other side, but they they don't show up in this weather. Them. Like uh, okay. after sunset, you can see them. Okay. So this is mini lecture theater. Yes. Okay. So what I love about this place is that while you are presenting, right? Even you can see what you're saying right in front. You can watch your own slides. Correct. And that's a camera above that. Yeah. Because when we went online, I think so half of the classes were taken online and half of them, if they are in person, they are attending here as well. This one. What are these mics on every place? Uh, so that if this one of them speaks, the mics will capture? It will yes. capture and then when zooming and streaming happens, so you can participate simultaneously in class as well in online classes as well. Okay, that is world class infrastructure then. We are going to the library now, is it? Okay. So just wanted to know how you see ISB as compared to these schools in the US. Oh, ISB is a world class university. Uh, primarily because if you look at all the rankings in the world, right? What is the biggest driver of rankings of universities? Uh, first is past history. Okay, but then uh, increasingly more and more, the ra ranking of, of these universities is driven by their research productivity. And I, ISB is undoubtedly number one university in India when it comes to research productivity. It, I think it is already among top 20 universities in the world, if I'm not wrong. And I think ISB is trying to break into top 10 as well. And I would not be surprised if they do, because the quality of faculty that you keep recruiting and the visiting faculty you have they do a top class work. So these, and are, these are the ISB studios where most of the online recordings happen. If you want, you can come and see. So this is one of the studios, is it? Yes. And most of the talk shows and online video streaming. Okay, talk shows and yeah. I think I've seen a few videos of uh, Professor Mani and yes. Professor uh, uh, Bhagwan Chaudhary. Bhagwan Chaudhary, they all sit here and talk. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, we can pick up picture over here. Okay. Are we going up? Yeah. These are the students. And this is your library upstairs. Yeah. And this is the ISP library. So there are study tables there, okay. This is a balcony of, and these are the classrooms inside. Okay, and what offices are these? So that one is Microsoft. Okay. Uh, right behind the tower. The, the tower is Microsoft office. Right. Okay. Uh, so. And we have the IBM office also very close by. Okay, where is IBM's office? Yeah, somewhere this side. Okay, that that is IBM's office over there. Right. Okay. So, like all big IT companies are in the same room, like yeah. PCS, Wipro. Uh, Infosys is Infosys, right across yeah, the main Infosys gate. Infosys is right across. Okay. ISP. And there's also a very good golf course opposite to ISP. Like okay. It's like one of the best ones. So is this is the swimming pool. Is the same pool where I had taken picture in 2007? What is it? Uh, Jan 2, 2022, right? Jan 2022. Uh, I took in December 2007, so almost 2008, so 14 years ago. And you know what? Let me pose at the same place again and see <laughs> the difference. Let me look at the pose for a second. I think I stood at exactly the same spot for 14 years ago. Just that that building was not there at the time, right? Just for the staff, they bring them to campus in the morning and when they leave in the evening, this will take them and drop them to their home. Okay. So it is 4.30 already. My research presentation is at 5 o'clock. So I think we should get going now. is that we could no longer find a direct link between IT resources and phone performance unless we look at the process improvements and process performance. Now, Python regression requires the mean and variance. The only and the best option I had was going for negative binomial regression. Was In this case, it was almost zero material weaknesses anyway. So the core punch of the story is on the other graph. Increasing the use of technology is actually damaging your performance in the processes. So it was a long day at the Indian School of Business Hyderabad. I really enjoyed going around the campus, meeting with so many students, answering all their questions, uh, hopefully uh, guiding them the right way. And uh, my research talk went very well. They asked me several really good questions. So it was all a very good experience. It was a long and tiring day, but uh, it was also a lot of fun. So yeah, it's night time now. I have an early morning, uh, six o'clock. My cab will be here to pick me up, to take me to the airport so I can go home. And thank you for watching. Jai Hind and God bless America.